Hey, what's up guys? So I've been tracking my macros for the month of March and for the first week I was around 163.4 and then for the second week I was around 162 and for the third week I'm down to 160 and I woke up this morning and I had a big smile on my face because I was feeling how I was looking. I was looking pretty good and well, one of the areas that I dislike is the low candle area. And for, for me to be 160, it's a, it's a good weight. So um, I'll try and be more consistent and I want to try and dip down into the 150. So we'll see how I look. I've been pretty consistent with tracking my macros. I've been eating pretty basic meals and I could show you my Google spreadsheet of my macros and I can also show you different kinds of foods that I've been eating. And it pretty much keeps you on check if you have to track every single thing that you're putting in your mouth because uh, pretty much the, the first week I was eating random stuff that I couldn't really count so um, try, try to uh, eat foods of where you can calculate the macros also for the food it's not that good it doesn't taste that good so it prevents you from overeating and just try and be consistent with tracking and also before I was writing everything down on a piece of paper and then I had to do the calculations, it's a pain. So now I pretty much use a, a Google sheet and I pretty much, it's easier to calculate all of your macros. You could use the applications, but I just find writing it down on the calendar whenever I get the totals. So pretty much it. if you're consistent with tracking your macros, you're walking, you're working out, proper sleep that you will see results each week you should be dropping a pound or two and if, if you're not then you need to modify it either you know you, you, you could carb load and then well when, once you're done with that and then you could get back on your diet or your lifestyle but also don't hang around other people that don't share your goals don't talk to other people about your problems if you if they can't help you with them. Because essentially you are who you associate with. So um, just try and be the best example that you can be for yourself and for other people as well. Um, I was also uh, talking to somebody because I went to Subways one day and then I was like, yeah, you know, I've been trying to track my macros and I've been trying to walk to lose weight and then it was raining the whole week and then I would essentially I would still be walking morning and after work it doesn't matter rain or shine you still go if, if you don't want to go outside you could do like tempo martial arts yoga you, know, you could run in place you know you could dance well whatever there's no excuse for you not to do something so just get it in and he, he, he was also saying oh you know I don't want to go walk in the rain and it, it's just something that he wasn't he wasn't interested in doing and it's understandable because it's not pleasant but if, if you have a goal of where you want to go well what you want to do that it will help you later on in life and it, it's not what you do on a day it's what you do within a long time frame so your daily habits will give you results in the long run So you do what you got to do to get what you want. And I've also been doing uh, some boxing drills. I'll show you guys later. Where um, I saw it from a YouTuber where he was using dumbbells just to like um, practice shadow boxing. And uh, the pump is insane when, when you're doing that. So the, the clickbait that I'm going to use, it's, it's misleading because I normally wear a 32. And if I was 170, it would look the same. Like my, my pants would be just as loose. But I wouldn't look as cut. So I, I could be 170 and look good, or I could be 170 and look like trash. So it's all about the recomposition. It's all about if you like what you see when you look in the mirror, how you feel about yourself. So man, make sure that you guys weigh yourself in the morning. After you go to the bathroom, number one, number two. And then keep track of all of that. Keep keep track of your steps. So when you total up your macros, you, you could take your steps, the calories that you burn. And obviously, it's probably not 100% accurate. Uh, you could just subtract it off of your daily total. 
And babe, based off of Samsung software, I'm overweight. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'll show you what's up with the the boxing. So just just say for example, I'm not a I'm not really trained as a boxer, but yeah, but if you punch up, and then you just do it to some. He says do it five minutes, but I can't do five minutes. It's too much. Ten, 10 pounds is too heavy for me. So I always just do like a three, four minute song. So just punch up and then switch stances. And then he was also doing like uppercuts. And then kind of like uh, hooks to the body and then hooks to the face. So just play around with it. And then if you guys have a mirror, you, you, will, look, you will look crazy. Uh, when, when you're doing it because it, it just gives you a crazy bump For pretty much you could do uh, 10 pounds one song and then I have my Bullflex dumbbell plates that I've been using So one seven and a half one's five two and a half and one and a quarter And then I would just do a song for each of the plates each of the weights and it's a good workout Also, if you have 10 pound dumbbells or if you didn't have any weights just pick up a, a water bottle and then I uh, have two water bottles and I start shadow boxing. But uh, for these ones, you, you could you could work on your legs and then go out too. You, you could do these for a song, kind of like marching in place. But yeah, let, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know of any other content that you want me to create. And this is what I currently look like. It's about six, seven o'clock. I walked about 18,000 steps. So it's about, I think it's eight miles. And maybe it's like six or 700 calories. So I'll, I'll show you guys my, my sheet and then also the food that I've been eating. All right, I'll check you guys later.